Hi, welcome back. In the last video, we have seen how we can capture the screenshot of the mobile application and where we can store it with the name of timestamp as well as the activity name. In this video, we're going to specifically see how we can do a video recording. And we all know what is the real time purpose of video recording, right? There may be a complex, uh, complex flow that we want to understand whether it is really happening or maybe the some defects occur very, very rarely and we wanted to know whether it is what is that happening in the back end, right? So the need basically varies according to the project requirement. But how do we do that is what we're going to cover it here. Okay, so the usage perspective from the driver object side, we will be using two methods. One method is start recording screen. Another method is stop recording screen, simple. From Python side, we should understand how we can convert the base64 raw file into a media file so that's what the conversion we will do with the help of uh, the existing python functionality and methods right and i also wanted to tell you that this video recording feature is enabled for uploading to a remote location so remote location as in you can upload it to a server or maybe any website given that you have username and authentication password and the way they does is basically through the post call so you can just put it as a http post to call and it is also uploaded there because given that the video size may increase that's what they enable this option but for now we are going to talk about how we can store the video file in our local machine let's get started with the three simple steps number one create the file path using this os path join uh, object this method from python so that we create an arbitrary file path right and then as an output of that stop recording we need that is giving the base64 file and then we need to save that file as a, a raw file right <clears throat> and then third the step will be to convert the raw file into a mp3 4 file then we are done so let's get started i am also using the same uh, code that that's been using in the previous videos this code is basically just launching the flipkart application and then doing a basic flow so imagine that I wanted to capture it from the beginning until the last step here, right? So let me start with the first step. So this is where we are creating the driver instance and this is where the actual flow starts. So let's assume that I'm starting the video recording, right? How do we do that? As I said, this is the driver object. Start video recording, recording the screen. So this has a lot of options. The option that I told you, like for example, if you press command B or control B, this gives us several options. The parameters you can provide as remote path. The path as I said, you can put it as a server or a HTTP method in a different uh, uh, website. And you need to authenticate. We need to provide the username and password. And there are other iOS and Android specific thing, right? But for now, we're not going to do anything outside of this uh, this machine. So we will be storing that recording here. So this line is basically start, we'll start the recording session on and we wanted to continue and stop it here somewhere. So the same driver object and put it stop recording screen. So this is done. And we wanted to save this file. If you look at this file, this is giving us a raw 64, uh, base 64 file format. So let me save this as uh, video raw data. So we are done. So let's go to our first step, create a file path. So file path is nothing but what we need to be doing is let's do from here. So create the file path as file path. This is any name you can give it. What we are giving is uh, using this function. So OS dot path. So OS doesn't recognize. So just uh, click option enter. This gives us option that automatically imports the OS function. Sorry, the OS package. And you can navigate from here, OS dot path and join so we are joining the directory with the file name so directory we know what the directory we're going to save it we are going to save it here i'm just right click and getting the path so this is the path we wanted to store it and remember to put a forward slash because that's where the file name will be appended joined right that's our first parameter and second thing would be would be our actual file name and then remember that in the last video we have seen how we can create a file name meaningful file name right so the file name will be really, for example, 
let me say video name so we were appending the actual activity name plus this timestamp because that will give the meaningful name so it's easy simple step again video name would be um, driver dot current activity will return as it's a property it returns the activity name and i'm joining this concatenating with the actual timestamp so this timestamp we can create is time object and str time format the format that we were looking at is basically um, percentage year underscore percentage m month and percentage day underscore percentage r percentage minute and percentage second so this is giving us the uh, the timestamp value plus activity name so this is our video name so the video that we're going to capture is a video name so we are going to call this video name here and remember that you need to again video name we wanted to store it in the mp4 format so just append this to the mp4 format dot mp4 so this will be appended now right so we are done with our file path this is a file path we are going to do it so we are done with the first step let's go to the second step second step we wanted to uh, save the raw file that's the we already saved it second step is also done now we need to convert it so the conversion is we can do it with the use of the with control flow in python with control flow basically used when we do a multiple activities right so here we are trying to do multiple activities as in we are trying to open the file write the file manipulate the file and closing the file all this can be done with the using the control i mean the flow of with with uh, control flow you can save it right so it is kind of equivalent to your uh, try and catch for example if you know uh, try catch block because try catch finally so this is the sequence of thing we'll be doing but with the ease of doing with the ease of uh, python we can do it with a simple with control flow right so how do we do that let's start with with the moment you start typing it you will know that this is a keyword reserved keyword and open is the command and we're going to open it so if you want to understand what are the different arguments of open just come and be this gives us a lot of option right so open we need to provide the file and the mode of it whether you wanted to read write or anything option so these are available options here and for our purpose we are going to do both w write as well as the binary name so wb will be using it okay so we know what the file name is this is a file name we wanted to up, uh, open it and what that what is that we want to do it basically we want to do wb so write and binary data and we want to store the syntax as if you remember the syntax here we have done with the expression and as for example let me save this as uh, we have saved raw data video let me say this is raw somewhere right let me say maybe other name video data something like that okay so this gives a flow like it will look like a really a while loop or for loop any other control flow and what we're going to do it here we get this object this is the object we saved us and we want to write it right method and what we're going to write is basically base 64 We put it it doesn't understand what is base 64 if you just press the option enter it's going to import the base 64 package for you and we are converting this decoding the base 64 file and if you press decode you will see several options the option that we are doing is a b64 encode decode is what we are interested in so this is the one so b64 uh, decode right what we're going to try to decode is basically the uh, video name so the video name that we got from here the video raw data right and we are done so at the end of this file this will open and write the file and save the file name as the file name that we are given the file name is nothing but the video name here right so we'll be saving it as the activity name plus this timestamp so we are done now 
and with this lines of code we will be able to save the recording video recording so what we are trying to save it we are storing this from the beginning of the application and we are ending it here stop recording right and it is pretty simple you need to just provide the file path and the width block with control flows i mean width block so that you are converting you are manipulating the data and store it in a video file let's run it and see whether we are able to see that video and you can see that there is no recording of the video file here the server server start running it's all done now as you can see that exit code is zero and you see that there is a video file so let's go and open this file find it in finder and then right click open it you see that there is a video file of size uh, 20 seconds and this is what we were doing it right so Yes, so we are done. So with this lines of code, you will be able to do a video recording and you understand the purpose of this. And I want to give you some tips also. For example, if you know what is happening at the server side of Appium, then you will see that there is a file. There is an encoded file. The base, uh, base 64 file is generated, right? So the way you can confirm is that this is returning, responding that. It's keep running. So the driver dot stop recording result is this if you don't see such format then means that you are not able to generate the video file so that's the way you can confirm it i hope this you like this video and uh, i hope this content is also helpful to you thanks for watching